Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Cecily Tynan, Phil Andrews, and Rob Jennings. Saturday night, the Pennsylvania Farm Show is open for business, and Cardinal Bevilacqua wants to do something about young people and violence. But the big story in Action News is another blanket of white, thanks to Mother Nature. For the second time this week, snow has fallen. Matt O'Donnell is live on the action cam in Roxborough. Matt? Rob, all the snow, slush and ice is gone from Ridge Avenue here in Roxborough, but earlier it was here, along with so many other roadways in the Delaware Valley. It might have given you some trouble in your car because it was an icy one. This icy hill on City Line Avenue near 66th Street was giving drivers a lot of trouble this morning. Some never made it up the hill and had to back down. Impatience grew as a small traffic jam developed as a result. Police had a part of Henry Avenue in Roxborough closed altogether because of the ice. Motorists had to take a detour up the street. Some were angered by the slow response, or lack thereof, on the part of the city's plows and salt trucks. I'd like you to make sure the mayor sees this so we can occasionally get the area salted. Thank you. Mayor Red, no streets clear! In the residential areas, it was business as usual, just like any other snowy morning. The snow was cleared manually and... by machine. This Overbrook Farms man says he's glad he bought a snowblower for two reasons. Because my wife is very afraid of snow and ice, and therefore it made her more comfortable to have a snowblower. How do you like it? It's like a toy for a grown man. Now, a little snowfall isn't all that bad, I guess. In fact, some of the hills here in Roxburgh are great for sledding, even for this reporter. Whoa. Some sidewalks would never give a kid's sled a chance. This man got up at 5 a.m. to make sure pedestrians in Andorra didn't risk leg fractures when they went for a walk today. How many buckets? We go by bags. They're 50-pound bags, and we'll probably go through about 10 here today. And if it freezes up, we'll be back out here tonight. Back live in Roxborough, you're looking at a shiny part of the roadway on Ridge Avenue. That is the precipitation from the snow that was cleared off or that melted in that part of the roadway. It may give you some trouble later on because it's definitely below freezing right now. On the secondaries, it could be even worse because, hello, <laughs> because uh, the ice could uh, give you even more problems in your car, so be careful. I'm Matt O'Donnell reporting live on the Action Cam in Roxborough. Thank you, Matt. Motorists had help today in dealing with snow-covered roads across the tri-state. Salt trucks made the rounds across the Delaware Valley, including on this street in the Logan section. Some motorists got off to a slippery start this morning, as Matt showed us, because of the snow and ice. But salt trucks helped to make their travels a little easier by afternoon. South Jersey residents also spent this Saturday dealing with today's wintry blast. Action News caught up with residents here in Pittman, New Jersey, as they shoveled off their sidewalks. And in Belmar, a motorist used a broom to clean off his car this morning before he could set out on his way. The crews salted area roadways to help prevent accidents. The youngsters, of course, they just want to do enjoy the snow. And in Delaware, this resident pulled out his snowblower to help clear his property today. Shovels were also put to good use here in Wilmington. A picture-perfect day to go sledding in Rockford Park. Children spent the day sledding on the snow-covered grass while their parents worked. Now, out to <laughs> Cecily Tynan and AccuWeather. Cecily, the snow's gone, but the cold air isn't. Uh, that's right. The cold air is just moving in, in fact, Rob. The system that brought us the snow this morning has now moved off the coast, but it's opened the door for us to get a little bit of the frigid air that's been hovering over the plains and the Midwest. So bundle up uh, for tonight. The call from AccuWeather, blustery and cold. Now, the overnight low cold on its own down to 13 degrees but then we factor in the winds that means wind chills zero to 10 degrees below zero and for tomorrow it's going to be another beautiful day to look at a lot of sunshine but brisk and colder than today the high 28 but then of course add the wind chills wind chills zero to 10 degrees above zero so the frigid air is here it's going to be lasting for a while how long and how much snow do we get this morning? When will we get more snow? It's in the forecast, and we'll have the details coming up in the AccuWeather 5-day forecast. Rob? Okay, Cecily. Buffalo, New York got hit by a powerful snowstorm. More than 20 inches of snow fell in that area overnight. The storm brought with it wind gusts of up to 50 miles an hour. 
driving was banned in Buffalo, so crews could plow the streets more quickly. Blizzard-like conditions making driving treacherous for motorists in South Dakota and other parts of the Midwest. Driving is banned in many places there, too. The bitter cold is forcing the cancellation of many outdoor activities. Missouri's governor, Mel Carnahan, canceled his inaugural parade for Monday because of the frigid forecast. And a South Dakota woman miraculously is in stable condition tonight. She was rescued from her pickup truck, which got stuck in that blizzard. Karen Nelson, 51 years old, ran off the road into a ditch, and there she stayed for nearly 40 hours with wind chills as low as 70 below zero. She'd been trying to get home from work during that snowstorm. Fortunately, she did have a sleeping bag in her truck to stay warm and a cellular phone. She talked to a pilot who was searching for her and guided him to her stuck truck by telling him when she heard his plane overhead. Searchers then rode to the rescue on snowmobiles late yesterday. Investigators have begun studying...